Welcome back. This is Adam Compton here with Hillbilly Storytime. We're going to be taking another look at a, or a look at another uh, Hack the Box system here. This one is lame, or the name of it is lame. Uh, it is a fairly simple one, warranting the name, I believe, but uh, there's a couple of different types of exploits you can do in here. I'm going to try one that probably isn't one that is written up often out there or demoed often. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to do is just copy my template folder over to my new location. Okay, let's jump in there. Let's go ahead and kick off a uh, standard in-map scan. Let's do uh, very verbose, only show open ports. Uh, do a version scan. Do not do DNS lookup. Do a SIM scan. Do all ports. Do not ping the target. Uh, do a little more aggressive speed on there. Output to do all versions of the output and we'll do that to TCP full and the target. As was usual, my uh, scans are a little slow here because of my network connection. So we're going to break here and I'll be right back once it's finished. All right, well, it looks like it's finished now. Let's take a look at what it found. It has a FTP service here uh, running VSF FTPD, uh, SSH, uh, couple of Samba services, and the STCCD. Let's go ahead and take a look at the FTP first. FTP to 10, 10, 10, 3. Let's just try anonymous. And it lets, you, lets us in. Nothing in there. Just make sure. Yep, nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and cat that file again in my app. Um, So, I know that this is VSF TPD uh, 2.3.4, probably has an exploit out there for that. We're not going to look at that. I believe uh, several of the write-ups out there I've seen make use of the Samba here with an exploit on it. That will drop you into the root directory or root privilege. Not going to go down that path. You want to try this one right here. So, let me clear screen. There is a Metasploit module or exploit for that service, so let's let it load up here. All right, so let's search for that. And lo and behold, there is one. So let's use that one. Let's clear screen again. Okay, so let's uh, show options. Let's set our host to our target. And then let's run. All right, good. So let's do uh, what are we doing here? We're doing IE. Who are we running in? Good. Now, what directory are we in? All right, let's cd to home. Let's see if we can find the user here. Oh, there's lots of stuff. So ls star right there, user tech. So let's see if we can cat that. Hey, so we can. Any clue in here? Hey, it does work. Okay. So let's cd into slash root. See if we can do anything in there. There is a root.txt here. Great. So uh, can we cat that? No. Well, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can find anything that can elevate privileges like set UID binaries. And let's redirect all errors to dev null. Let it run. Is there anything you saw? Oh, right there. Nice one. Let's go ahead and look at inmap. Inmap has a history of having a, and it had set UID on there, the older versions. This is an older file, 2008. Very possible this one is vulnerable. So let's go ahead and do inmap dash dash interactive. We're in there. Let's just do bang sh just to see if it works. And if we do ID, lo and behold, we are now effective UID root. So now if we do that cat slash root slash root dot txt, and now we have it. We're all golden. All right, well, thank you very much for uh, sitting with me through this one. Like I said, this is a fairly straightforward 
a short one here. And um, other people might have used the Samba or some other technique. I chose to go this route because it's probably one that most people aren't going to be thinking of right offhand, especially going back and using the interactive on InMap. But uh, hopefully uh, you might have learned something here or you found it entertaining. And if so, please uh, hit the like, bu like button below and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Thank you.